Okay, we're rolling now. Good, I'm ready to go. Is the smell of vision on? Hello, Pixel TV fans and website users and website designers. If someone sent you a link to this video, they may be an awesome web designer, but who knows? If you're getting a new website, you may be worried that you'll pick a dud. Here are three red flags, three signs that your web designer stinks. Number one, they use too many technical terms. We need to make sure your site uses HTML5 and CSS3 for the best SEO possible. You should utilize a strategy that combines PPC and organic SEO with... Okay, I can't keep going. If your web designer is throwing around more acronyms than a government agency, it does not mean they're smart. It means they're a bad communicator. Number two, there's no discussion about your goal. If your web designer doesn't ask what the goal of your website is, that's another bad sign. Designers can get so caught up in creating something that's awesome looking that they forget it's supposed to serve a business purpose. Number three, they don't have a holistic approach. To a hammer, everything looks like a nail. If your web designer can't talk intelligently about multiple online marketing options, that's a bad sign. Of course you shouldn't use every online marketing option out there, but your web designer should be able to talk through what's a good fit with you and what's not, even if it's a service they don't personally provide. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. Next time I'll share a tool that can help you build your Twitter following, and it's not one of those scammy buy Twitter followers online things. You can subscribe at tndesgo.com slash YouTube.